everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star continuous knowledge excellence my name is anshika gaur this video is all about synthesis of starch hydrogen which will be explained by our expert professor bohida who is associated with national center excellence in agro nanotechnology terry dykin nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research His area of expertise includes nanoscience and nanotechnology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics, and biophysics. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. So, just look at the slide carefully. We have common starch. This is potato starch. This is available from Sigma or any other vendor. Certain amount of this is dis dissolved in distilled water. It is highly soluble under stirring, heated to typically 65 to 70 degrees Celsius for about an hour to make it homogeneous. Then ethanoic acid, 2 to 4 mL, and a crosslinker, epic chlorohydrin (ECH), some 1 to 3 mL is added to it. This starts the crosslinking process, and the solution is left for about 10 to 15 minutes under constant stirring. Wait, wait, wait! Are you worried about your project? training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics so if you want to register in the workshop the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in Where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. Then we put a thermal initiator to it, which is ammonium persulfate. It's a very standard thermal initiator in in the organic chemistry. It is used for crosslinking various materials and turning it into free radicals. You see a very nice example of this in this particular case. Now the crosslinked starch and ethanoic acid. is received as a paste at the bottom after the reaction which is washed multiple times with fresh water distilled water and dried in the oven at around 50 degrees celsius 45 50 degrees celsius overnight to collect the material and then the material is ready for use i hope you like this video here i would like to give you an important information that nano science and technology consortium organized the nano technology workshops on very interesting topics Also I would like to tell you about the initiative of NSTC in which you can also be a part of joint product development research projects consultancy services nano materials for your research projects training programs or customized training programs workshops or customized workshops so that's all if you want to see these type of videos then please do comment we will definitely reach out to you Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never ever miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.